First, you want to make sure the machine is off and unplugged. Next, remove the two button head screws that hold the safety shield in place with a 532nd T handle. Be sure to keep the bolt and washers together for when you reassemble and remove safety shield. Next, remove three cup loader rods. If you're seeing a higher variance of cup drop or double drop issue, or any misalignment and a lot of cup jams, our recommendation would be to change the spring tabs, which are located here and here on the cup loader body. Take your 532nds Allen wrench or T handle. Place it in the button head screw on the spring tab and remove the screw on the front side. And do the same thing on the back side. With the new tabs, you want to make sure the bent ridge is toward the top so as you rotate it faces the unit. You will take your button head screws with the washer and new spring tab, tightening down slowly. Before you tighten down all the way, make sure you press into the spring tab with your thumb and lift up so the tab is sitting at its highest point. Then fully tighten down screw. You want to repeat the process with the opposite spring tab. Again, ridge up when you rotate this way towards unit. Place tab on cup loader body and tighten down. Again, pressing tight with your thumb to add pressure to make sure your tab is in the highest position. Once spring tabs are reinserted, you can put your cup loader rods in a three porthole location. Then replace your safety shield and tighten down screws with your 530 seconds wrench. and resume normal operations.